Hey everybody, Matt Burke here. Today I'm going to be reviewing Matt Martin's Snowman, A Cold Day in Hell. This is a book I backed a few years ago, uh, got it in the, uh, in the mail. And uh, yeah, I got to say it was definitely with the weight. Um, and uh, this is what came with it right here. I got this cool sticker by um, one of the characters you get introduced later on in the story. I believe her name is Gwen. Um, she might have been around from the older um, uh, Matt Martin books of Snowman. Snowman was a character that had came out, I believe, in the 90s. Um, with the company that he was with, uh, with Trent Canuga and Ethan Van Skyver, I believe it was, um, Hall of Heroes, if I'm not mistaken. And, um, yeah, it was an old property that he, uh, resurrected much like Cyber Frog and, uh, Trent Canuga's Creed. Um, but man, yeah, I, um, I like this, man. It was, it was a, a cool looking, uh, horror Western, weird horror Western. There hadn't been too many at the time in the, in the, you know, in the new, um, you know, crowdfunding indie movement that we had, you know, in the OG days of Comics Gate. And, um, yeah, man, I had one, too, with Butch Cleaver, and this was just right up my fucking alley. So I had to back it, and then the art was just, like, you know, top tier, man, this high detail. And um, just what I seen, it was just, you know, I had to back it. It's just that's the type of uh, book that I like. And um, it came with this really cool card here with a scripture. Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest joshua 1 9 and uh, yeah that's pretty cool man so snow day at cold day, cold day in hell um yeah story just picks up it's got this really cool like old-timey um snake oil style art on the on the cover you know snowman at cold day in hell uh story art lettering design color all by matt martin and colors by stefani renee uh i gotta say both these guys they fucking killed it on this book man uh, i love the colors right here um and uh yeah man i just love the this page that opens up you got daniel elkhart and uh samuel trescott is the uh the two main two main dudes a starling tale of horrifying savagery and that's definitely what it is and then you have this um this this badass page right here it just opens up with this really interesting looking um re really interesting looking uh dream catcher um that would be a pretty badass tattoo if i must say uh inside of me there are two dogs one is mean and evil, and the other is good. When asked which one I uh, answer to, I feel whatever I feel the uh, the one feed the one the most, and that's a chief sitting bull. You know, that's famous famous Indian chief from back in the day. Um, so this starts up with Colorado, January twentieth, eighteen ninety one. It's a cool way to start a western. I always think it's fun when they do westerns in the snow. You know what I mean? Um, or you know when they when they travel there throughout the stories. You know, the, the movies and the books and the pulps, what have you, comics. Um, it starts up with, um, what did, what did the rabbit say? Daniel, you said the rabbit spoke. What did it say? Run. You never run. I'm not a rabbit. Right. So what did you see exactly? Daniel, please tell me what you saw. There was a dog. A diseased three-legged dog, chunks of the flesh from it had blood flowing from its eyes. A sick dog, what else? I fell back when I saw it. When I had fallen on it, the darkness was what remained of men, dead bodies. Countless. It's just crazy, man. This looks like a cover for Cannibal Corpse. This looks like some, some Vince Lock shit, man. I love it. <laughs> it's like an, just pretty much sets the tone for the book. You get this, like, insanely... Sorry for the glare, folks. Insanely detailed, like, you know, horror art, man. And uh, it just reminds me of, the, you know, the, the, the 80s, the 90s. It's got a dose of that fucking underground comic, you know? Thinking, like, Dead World. Um, it's just really the stuff that I'm actually, like, seeking out right now. And it was cool that um, we're getting a fuck ton of it in this book. Um... So again, that sets the stage for the book. Um, I'm with the rabbit on this one. We should get some sleep. Tomorrow will be long. These dreams of yours, I thought they were some kind of vision quest. Why would a rabbit tell you where to follow this path when they tell you to run? It wasn't talking to me. Wait, the bodies, the dead men, where were they? They were all white men. What dog? What does it mean? Maybe, maybe a dog is a sickness. <clears throat> The men I saw didn't die or of a fever. They were mauled, ripped apart. Shit. If I see any dog, any dog, I'm going to start blasting. Whatever happens, keep your wits. Remember all the things I've told you. you, you and then you start up, you go into this uh, really cool shot of like just the, um, the Colorado uh, wilderness. 
um, high detailed. Uh, every panel, you know, um, is just packed with with detail. I can see why the book took a long time to pretty much put out. Um, yeah, you can like basically like one of these panels could be like half a comic book today, and <laughs> like and just the art that's in a lot of the the mainstream books. Um, just really really cool. So you got these two guys right here. This is uh, January, um, Colorado, January 21st, 1891. It's the second day. I don't understand what I'm looking at. I'm, I'm, I'd be surprised if there was something you, you don't understand, you lunk. Kiss my ass, Jamesy. Looks like a robbery of some sorts. Got to be something of value inside that thing. Never heard of outlaws ripping up rails before. Covering their tracks, maybe. Covering their tracks by leaving a trail of destruction? Hmm. How the hell do you think that makes any sense, Billy? Since you're such a boy, detective, since you're such a detective, boy, why don't you take a closer look? Open that thing up and see what we got in there. You best stop calling me boy. Why should I have to do it? Anyhow, I already... Because you're the one that got us up this mountain, freezing our balls off on account of you can't recall what day it is. It ain't because you're some detective. That's for damn certain. It ain't my fault that, like hell, it's entirely your fault. Now get with it, would you? It's colder than witch's titty out here. Fine, but if there's a pile of money in there, I got dibs. You know risk and reward like. Shoot your bazoo, big man, and get on with it. What's with the horse? Sure it's upset about something. I think even his nuts are starting to freeze over. Billy, get it open before Jesus gets back, huh? I can't. It it won't budge. You gotta unlatch it first, beefhead. I know that. I know that's your shit heel. It's it's frozen solid. Then you jump into this town right here, um, that's nearby, and uh, you have the sheriff right here. He's talking to his um his, you know, his associate or um you know co, his uh, his partner. And then this you know there's this like, lady from town. She's coming in. She's saying there's something something going down. You know, sheriff, come quick, hurry. Somebody shot James the Longhorn. Please, he's bleeding out real bad. Emmett, go see Dwight is in. Go see if Dwight's in. Sure thing. Hopefully he's not seeing patients this morning. So he's basically telling him to go see the doctor, you know. Lord have mercy. Those aren't bullet holes. He rode in like he rode in like that from God knows where. He won't get down and he insists on seeing his uh, his ma. But she's enough of that now. Doc should be on his way. So let's get him down and see see he's warm. See where he's warm. Holy shit! So yeah, it's definitely, man, something just tore him open. Easy. Easy. Um, I'd like to point out uh, the coloring right here by Stefani Rene, um, I believe. And uh, just, I like the way that they're putting the snow in between the gutters. How you got the fog coming in, just really setting a tone. Um, just masterful artwork right here, man. Right here, James. What what happened to you? The the snow snow. They're they're dead. Who's dead? Jo, jo, Jane Jonah. Where are they, James? P Porter Creek Porter Creek Trail. D d don't go. The the snow. They're they're a dead man. He he. Damn. Oh my God. Is he dead? I need two or three able bodies to ride with me and Emmett. We got to find those boys and bring them back. Poor James. I never saw anyone die before. So you look up and you just see um, our two main our two main uh, guys right here. They're, they're hearing some stuff off in the distance. They look up and then see the, the rabbits. Run. What on earth? No way. What what just happened? Lord God above. God above. Think I'm losing my mind. And so they're looking down the mountain. They don't know what the hell went on, what was going on. They're, they're, they're investigating. They're coming upon the, um, the, the railroad train car. And then boom, man, carnage. They know something's fucked up around here. So this right here, you know, um, it's just really just setting the stage for just a, a horrific nightmare, man. They're really, he's really putting it, um, putting it down on the on the on the horror front man the weird west and then the horror you really put yourself in these guys shoes and um 
as far as comic books go, like in the last years that I've backed the crowdfunding and Westerns campaign, man, I haven't felt um, anything like, like this since I've actually watched Bone Tomahawk. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but um, it's like a, a Western horrific experience, man. This guy's really putting it down, um, Matt Martin. And um, yeah, sorry. And then uh, you find out that um, one of these guys was a sheriff. And then you go forward like, oh, damn, look at that. I count seven heads total, a dead deputy and six others. Looks like a posse. Yeah, it's just freaking them out, man. You know, <laughs> it should be. Get back inside. Get back. Sheriff, my God, what, what what's happened? Get back inside. You're all going to die. Go. He's coming. Lord, let my aim be true. And there he is, the snowman. And all of his uh, his glory right there, man. Really sick design, man. Really original. He's got the 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 dead crow on his head with the head ripped off. Um yeah, just a really cool western design, man. Again, you're playing with uh with with genre and tropes and designs, characters. Uh it's always cool when when someone's bringing something new to the western genre and I think uh Matt did a really good job. Matt Martin did a really good job with that. Come on, demon. I'm going to send you back to hell. Kapow, kapow, kapow. Just die, you son of a bitch. Kapow, kapow. And just, oh, man, just the attention to detail in here. Love the coloring, man. Just great job. I Because uh, Stefani, Renee, I think they're they, oh, just killing it. What in Sam Hill is going on here? Open fire. Boom, boom. Take him down. Kill that murdering savage. Damn it. Where is he? Where'd he go? Is that a dog? So, there's something wrong with it. What's the dog doing? What in the hell? It just up and vanished. This is useless. I can't see past my own nose here. That, that killer's lurking and we're totally blind. Relax. He can't see us neither. And then you got that splash right there, man. Look out! Uh, fucking, yeah, man, this book. The art is just, oh, man, just on another level, man. Just on another level, you know? You can just see why these books just take so long. And then you get this epic, these epic two pages right here. These are two of my favorite pages in the book, you know? Um, and I will say this book is like a crescendo. It does just keep building and building and building, you know? Um... So you got the, you know, you got the tomahawk right there. Bam, bam, and he takes that dude's head on the side. Bam, bam, throws the, the axe. Takes his arm. So he's, he, you know, obviously he's dead, but you could probably kill this guy. You know what I mean? And so, you know, he's coming up. Get, get back. Just the gore, man. The attention. <laughs> right to the end of the nose and uh he starts to, to grow back an, an ice arm and he just basically uh he control ice just impales that dude crazy and then this guy right here big like ice shank comes down from the uh from the heavens and he just grows this ice arm so um once he's fully taken apart, I mean, I, I don't know if he could become fully ice or whatnot. It's just a, a mystery. But just the, the gore, man. It's like a it's like a, a death gallery of gore. And uh, this 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 dog, man. You, you come to find out later on what it is. I love the, the panels, how the borders are going into this chaotic um, uh, frenzy of um, uh, kinetic energy. And you know what? I'm gonna leave it right there, folks. There's there's a whole lot, and, and uh, that was fucking nothing. You have you have I I, I showed I showed really nothing in the book. <laughs> I just wanted you guys to to see um, the horror. Um, for me, let, let's see right here. I want you guys to check out the um, the stuff in the back. Let's see here. Okay, and it has a pretty cool ending. And you get um you get uh introduced to this new character right here. Her name's um, I believe her name's Gwen. That was the one from the from the sticker, and you get this really cool little like backstory um, that they talk about in the book where they take out this bear. So if you want to read that, and it's just really you know kind of immersion stuff in the back right here. Then they talk about the these totems, and these spirit animals right here. 
You got some of the guns that were, I believe, featured throughout the book. Really cool stuff. And um, you get these really cool. This is I love this right here for the art fiends and and uh, fanatics. You know, where they where they build up the characters. Yeah, Matt Martin's a killer, man. Um, I'm definitely gonna buy the next Snowman book for damn sure. Yeah. And then you have like different um, covers in the back, you know, showdown, showdown uh, art. It's a really cool, like 24 hour cover right here. Got the snowman in his hulking glory, taking out some, <laughs> some white boys, <laughs> some tourists. Um, and then you got these uh, cover colors. Uh, you got one Kelsey Shannon and uh, Stefani Renee, both doing different styles, both equally good in their own right, you know. Same thing right here. I really love this character though, man. Like, um, I don't know in the next book if he's gonna be a full ice ice uh, Hulk or if we're gonna get some more of this 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 dude's fucking metal, man. I, I really like the um the uh this character. I don't want to say what his name is because it's kind of spoilerific, but let's just call him Snowman. You got this uh, Venom uh, McFarlane homage again. You got Kelsey and um. And uh, Stefani doing their, their different takes on it. I love seeing people's different colors on stuff. It's really cool, you know, because essentially when, when you're coloring, you're, you're getting your fucking you're, you're 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 drawing and painting at the same time over the, the pencil or over someone's inks. You know, you turn into like the second um, artist on there. You know what I mean? You're going to paint and draw different things with uh, these programs. So it's just really cool to see what other people do. And um, this is the Trent Canuga cover. I really like his art, too, man. A lot of uh, kinetic energy in there. He's a he's another killer, another badass. That's yeah, an awesome cover. <laughs> Snowman looks fun as hell to draw. I'm gonna have to draw that character someday. Um, and then, um, yeah, you get um, really cool little thank you in the back to Comics Gate and um, Ethan Van Skyver. And uh, yeah, man, a little quote right there in the back too. Um, I see a time of uh, seven generations when all the colors of mankind will gather under the sacred tree of life and the whole earth will become one circle again, crazy horse. That's another, um, another, another chief, but yeah, man, snowman, a cold day in hell. I don't know if it's available anymore. Um, it might be available like on a, on a all caps eBay store or maybe a campaign or something like that. I give it two horns way up. I will back the next book. Um, definitely want to go back and check out the old snowman and also, um, and Vortex, because it's, it's, I'm on this real 80s and 90s kick and underground comic book uh, uh, kick right now, man. I want to try to pick up as much stuff as I can. So, yeah, if you, if you guys go check that book out, hard recommend. As always, thanks for watching. Always remember to be bold, be brave, and roll the bones. Know your role. I'll see you guys later.